Hello, this is Linda and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm putting together my project life spread for the week of February 19th through February 25th, 2024. And I'm working with the frames add-on from Allie Edwards from January and a few bits and pieces from the January stories by the month. Let's go ahead and dive right in. February 19th or 25th and not a ton happened this week um the biggest story was my daughter got a new apartment um she's not moving there but she toured it and picked it out and everything so I have some photos from that I have a few random photos so what I decided to do for this spread because I was trying to decide of what kit to use and I found these in my stash. So these frames were from an add-on. I think they were from the January stories by the month. I think they were an add-on for that. And I decided I wanted to just use them all up on a spread. And I could do that. I think, I'm not sure if there were supposed to be two of those or that was an error, but I was thought I could do it like this and do every other pocket be one of these frames. So some of these will have photos behind them, some will have words, and then I have a few photos here to go in between them. So I have like this one of me with pumpkin, here's me in my new puffer vest, and then here's one of my boyfriend. And then let's see, so I'm just thinking about like where these are gonna go. So like this one could go here, right where I wanna be cuddling with pumpkin. And um, let's see all the little details. So here is baking some cookies. Um, chasing my dreams. Could be Summer's apartment. That's more her chasing her dreams. Let's see. Maybe I'll put this in the totally noteworthy one here. And then put chasing my dreams here to do journaling about it. And then let's see here, today is a new day, my new mixer. Taking a deep breath, could just be like this photo. And then lessons from today could be this photo. So I did mostly smaller photos to go in these. I have one here that doesn't have a photo in it. So I think I wanna put like this next to it. Maybe I'll put this one, I'm not sure. But now, so basically what I need to do is I need to find things to go in these pockets. I need to create my title, I need to do some journaling and kind of get this one put together. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop off here, go look in my stash. Oh, this one also, that's the back of that. I need to put something in there. That looks like a good one for journaling though. So I'm going to go look at my stash, go see what else I want to fill all these pockets in, and I will be back on here. Okay, so you saw I cropped down some white cardstock to back these ones that are gonna have journaling and I just have an extra one here. What I decided to do rather than digging fully into my stash was pull out this tray. So this tray is Stories by the Month story pages. So basically what this is are all of the Stories by the Month kits that I've already used in Project Life and the pieces that are left. My plan is to plan some projects using these, but for now I can use the pieces in Project Life if they make sense. So I do have these word phrase strips. There's obviously some of these a six by eight papers that I don't think I want to cut up that I'm probably going to use in uh, my six by eight mini me album. This one though is very pretty. I could crop this one to make some filler cards. Now I think that these colors, these frames work better with the January kit. So I'm gonna put aside the February kit for now and see what I have left here from the January kit that might make sense for this spread. So um, I'm also thinking about like what stories do I want to tell? So 
this story, I want to tell something about Summer's apartment. I probably want to do like a big title about it. Maybe I'm going to do it like these corners. And then I definitely want to do a story about baking. So maybe I'm going to move this one, these ones together for that. This can be the story of today. Should be, let's see. Um... But did a bunch of errands on Saturday and had a pretty busy days, so I can do that one there. And this went with that. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what else do we have in here. So I've got these January stories ones, but we're not in January, we're in February, so I don't want to use those. This everyday moments one could be good for my bullet point list. You guys know that I like to have a bullet point list. Um, embrace the glorious mess that you are. I love this quote, but I don't know that it's going to work here because like, I like the idea of just cutting out embrace and putting it there, but I like the quote, but it's not going to fit in a three by four. I could crop it this way, but I don't know that that's really the style I'm going for here. I'm not sure. I feel like it's going to be tight to crop it. Yeah, I don't think I want it horizontal so, or the opposite, the wrong way. This one obviously would work. I could do this one and then do something. I got a new apartment. I like that. So I'm going to crop this one into two. So this is a four by six card, so I can make two three by four cards out of it. So I'm going to use this one. This is the best time for new beginnings is now. It should stamp largely on here. Summer got a new apartment. Here's a photo of her apartment. There I will journal about it. And then I have this one. I think I'm going to turn this one upside down so that it looks a little bit different from that one for some additional journaling over here. Um, I have this 2024 still. Maybe I'm going to cut that out and put that somewhere. I'm not sure. Let's see. What is this one? Good times roll happening around here right now can use this one. I have journaling in like these. So I feel like I need like a filler there. So I have, let's see, these who what, I think all like those need to be for larger pages. This one I wanna cut and use separately. This one is super cute, but I also like it in the four by six. There's this one, the three things cards I'm not using, plus it's not January anymore. So I could use this one to add some things on there. There's obviously all these die cuts too. So like, what does this tag look like? I could do like the tag. Hmm. I have this one. It's a lot of journaling together. I think what I'm gonna do is come up with all of my pockets and then I'm gonna go through and rearrange the order. So I like, so here's this vellum, would make a good pocket, which I'm gonna back on this white, that. And then I'm gonna use that as a filler. So I want, so let's see. So I have this, oh, so that quote, or this quote, this one, hmm, I like both of these. That one could go there. Hmm. Okay. Let's see, what else do I have here? The details. These tags are cute. This girl is on fire. Honestly, I wanna use that one because that'll be cute with her story about her apartment. So these four can kind of be about that. I need another white to back that one. Okay, so I think that that gives me enough stuff to fill all of the pockets. Now I need to go through and figure out kind of how to put them together to cut stuff out. Let's see here. I'm just going to look actually really quick and see if there were any other embellishments and stuff I want to pull out. So I have a few more of these like tags. This little floral one is cute. I don't know if I, it's kind of big though. I'm not sure if I want to put it somewhere here. The frames I feel like take up so much space that I don't know that I want to put like more embellishments on those. And then like there are these like 
story from today could go on there. So some of these are cute. I might use them. I'm gonna just go through and fill this in first and then I'll come back and see if anything else from here jumps out at me. Okay, you guys, so the first thing I'm gonna do is work on my title card. So because the white cardstock in the back is three by four, but the frame is going to cover up a part of it, I used a pencil just to give myself some guide marks to know what portion of the white cardstock is going to show. And then I pulled over this stamp. This is one of the Alphas Are Awesome stamp sets from Allie Edwards. And I'm using it to stamp out the word February at the top. And my thought is just that I want to stamp the dates on here. So usually I use my rolling date stamp, but occasionally I move away from that and try to come up with other creative ways to add the date. So my idea here was to stamp the word February and then the numbers 19 through 25. So I originally wanted to stamp like the entire words, but I thought those words might be a little bit long if it was earlier in the month and it was like one through seven. I definitely would have done that right away. So I'm looking in my stamp organization and I have a whole video that shares how that comes together. So if you're curious about that, you can definitely check that out on my channel. So I picked some numbers from my stamp organization and stamped out 19 through 25. And I decided I absolutely hated it. When I'm looking back at it now, I actually don't hate it that much. What I don't like is how close the numbers are to the word of February because when you put the frame on, there's going to be a bunch of blank space beneath it. I added this little like uh, parenthesis on it too to kind of tie in the font from the first stamp set because that stamp set does not have matching numbers. So I also didn't like that the numbers didn't match. And you could see I wanted to add something else there and I just didn't like how close the numbers were to the word of February, but I really liked the way the word February worked or looked. So what I decided to do is just bring over another piece of white cardstock and I covered up the numbers. I added my piece of my die cut on there. I cut off the flag piece and just added it beneath the word February where it says memory I love so much. And then I decided to go back and stamp out the words like I had originally thought of. I know that 19 through 25 are long, but the issue I had had with the number stamps were that they weren't taking up enough space. So I thought, you know, this might work. I pulled over another alpha set. I'm not even sure who this one is from. I think it might be Studio Calico, but I've had it for a while and it's one that I pull out again and again. It might be Ali Edwards, I really don't know. But I'm writing out 19 and 25. 25 I'm putting on two lines because I thought it would be a little bit squished on one and this way it will fill up the entire frame. And I wrote them out on that sticky note first because when I'm stamping like this, I'm stamping from the center rather than the front of the word so that it's more centered. And I wanna make sure that I'm spelling it correctly. So having it written out on a sticky note to reference will help make sure that I don't make any spelling mistakes. I'm just going to use rolling adhesive to adhere the frame on top of this. And you can see I have it there. Um, and I'm just erasing those pencil marks so they don't show through and calling my title card good for now. I do end up coming back and adding some stitching on it at the end. Then I'm just moving along around my spread. I'm adhering some of these photos to the frames just using scotch tape rather than rolling adhesive. Um, it's just easier, but rolling adhesive would work perfectly fine here as well. And I'm just going through and adhering them down because that's just something easy I can do. When I'm working on a project life spread, I tend to work on whatever I know I want to be done already. So like I know those photos are gonna go there. So it's easy to just adhere them down while I think about what I'm gonna do for the rest of the spread. On this card here, I adhered the frame onto white cardstock. I apologize that it's going off the screen as I was trimming it down to fit there, but I just wanted to have some white cardstock to add a little bit of extra journaling onto that one. And I'm doing it again on this one here. And I regret that later because I do end up adding some stamping and I should have done the stamping before gluing it or adhering it like I did with the title card, but uh, it ends up working out in the end. So I'm just adhering all of the frames down as my first kind of step here to get the spread put together because these frames really are the main jumping off point for this spread. I'm using some of the 
word phrase strips from the January Stories by the Month kit. The color of those strips, I absolutely love it. I mean, it's not a, an amazing color, but I love it for Project Life because it coordinates with most things, but it's different from like a white that we normally would use. Um, in these, I have so many sets of white word phrase strips or black word phrase strips, so I like having a different neutral. So on this card, I decided to stamp out Summer Got an Apartment. I went back to the original font that I had used to stamp out February. Because I used two different font sets on that title card, I wanted to use them, both of them, throughout the rest of the spread so that I could have a... Um, a variety of them across the spread and that way it would all kind of tie together. Next I'm doing my journaling on this card about Summer's apartment. So like I said in the beginning of the video on the Friday this week, so I don't work every other Friday so this was the week I didn't work and she only has a morning class. So I picked her up around like lunchtime or maybe a little earlier and we went and toured this apartment and she decided she was going to apply for it and then we went and got lunch and chatted about it and then on the following day on Saturday she put her application in and got approved. I was super shocked about it and I'm definitely going to scrapbook more about that in her album. Um, I have a project planned out for that using the punctuation scrapbook kit if you are curious about that, I do have a whole plan about the punctuation scrapbook kit here on my YouTube channel, so you might want to check that out, and I do talk about that spread. But for now, I'm documenting it in my project life, so I have those four pockets dedicated to that story because that's really like the biggest story that happened this week. So here, I'm just adhering that this girl is on fire, vellum on top of that white cardstock, Honestly, when I first saw that vellum, I didn't know if or when I would use it, how I would use it, but it works perfectly for this story, so I'm super excited to have it. So here's where I'm stamping inside the frame, and I wish that I had not yet adhered the frame down because I think it would be better if I had um, the ability to kind of go off. You can see I had to use a sticky note there to cover up the edge of the frame so that the D didn't get onto it. But on this card, I'm journaling about running errands on Saturday. So the Saturday was a super busy errands day. Um, I do that usually like once or twice a month where I have like a super busy day where I get groceries and I go to Target, I go to all sorts of stores, which is also, also prompts a story that I'm going to tell with one of the upcoming story kits. So stay tuned for that. But I'm just doing my journaling about everything that happened that day and off screen I am looking at my Hobonichi cousin weekly spread because on there I created a bullet point list of all of the places that we went so that I would remember when working on this spread. Moving on to this photo of me and my puffer vest. So this is a new puffer vest that I just got the week prior, but this is the first time I wore it. And so I added a label sticker and some of the word phrase strips to embellish it. And I'm just adding a few words to talk about, um, you know, my new vest here. And then I'm moving over to the left-hand side. On this photo of me and pumpkin, I struggled a little to think about what I wanted on there, but ultimately I ended up using a circle sticker that was on the same sheet as the label that I used on the puffer vest and a couple of the word phrase strips. So when working from my stash or from working with your stash, you can it can definitely get overwhelming if you're always digging back in your stash for something else. So I often will pull a couple of sheets or items out and then use them over and over on the spread. So that sheet that you've seen there where I took the labels off of it, I pulled that out from my stash and I don't remember the brand. That's not one of the brands I typically use. Um, I've had it in my stash for a while and I'm just pulling things from it for multiple cards and photos just to kind of use it up. Plus you have the added bonus of them coordinating across the spread. On this card here, I wanted to do some journaling and I decided to add a label sticker that says life now on it and I used the smaller of the two alpha stamps on it. Like I said earlier, I wanted to use both of those alpha stamps throughout the spread so that it would all seem cohesive and the fact that I used both of them on that title card. Then I'm moving on to this journal card and this is the one where I'm going to add my bullet point list. I'm using my zig dot marker as usual. 
um, to do that. But before I ended up doing it, I decided to go work on this card because I tend to do my bullet point list absolutely last because it holds all of the stories that didn't make it on another journaling card. And I had this additional journaling card to fill. So what I decided to do was I cut out the 2024 from that tag. This was the last one left. That original tag had, I believe, 2024 on it three times. And I already cut two of them out for other spreads. So I'm happy to have been able to finally use up that die cut. And then I'm adhering them down onto this card here because it is 2024. And then what I'm gonna do is stamp out the title President's Day because Monday this week was President's Day and I like making note of that because that way, that's way I know why I wasn't at work on Monday or if some of my stories I'm thinking like, oh, why wasn't I at work or that doesn't make sense. It's because I had the day off of work. So putting that on here definitely helps me kind of remember what was going on this week or the context. So then I'm gonna do a little bit of journaling about President's Day. I apologize for the sun. I filmed this video in the morning and I like to have my window open at my craft desk to have the sunshine stream in, but typically I can't film videos in the morning because the sun is too bright or I have to put the shade down. But for this one, um, the sun was behind a cloud when I started and then you can see it keeps coming in and out. So I really apologize for that. I hope it's not too distracting. Um, here I go back to my bullet point list, adding those details. Like I said, I use the zig dot marker to add a dot. And then I use my pen to add two little like carrots on top of that dot. And then I'm journaling um, my few little details of things I want to remember this week that didn't make it elsewhere on my spread. After this journaling card, I'm pretty much done with my spread. Um, I'm going to do a final look through and kind of figure out what I want included, if I want to add any more details, but I really love the back and forth pattern of the frames and the other um, pieces. So I, I think I might do another kind of spread like this in the future. I took those two cards over to my sewing machine because I felt like it just needed something else. I think when I did the 2024 previously, when I cut out the other ones, I stitched it down and I just loved the way it looked. So I decided because I wanted to do that, I wanted to add stitching elsewhere on the spread. So I also put it on that die cut on the title card. I had originally looked for a third place to add stitching, but there really wasn't anywhere else that made sense. So I stuck with just the two. And then I'm going ahead and slipping everything into the pockets and calling this spread good. I'm super thrilled with how this one came out and I'm happy to have a spread that didn't have an insert. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know I do two Project Life albums per year. This one should hold January through June. It's already getting a little chunky, but I am determined to keep it all in one album, so I'm probably going to try to reduce adding inserts for a little bit. Here's a look at that completed spread. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And as always, I hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye.